no education would be complete without immediate concentrated attention on global warming. We have global warming because we have so much carbon dioxide in the air. This is a graph of how much the concentration of carbon dioxide in parts per million over the last 1,000 years. We can do this because we've taken ice core samples from the law dome and there are trapped air bubbles so we, we know how far back that ice is. We can age the ice by how deep the ice is and then we can analyze the bubbles. We can see that there are about 280 parts per million in the last 1,000 years then in just the last 100 years it's soared up to about 340. If we don't get control of this we the outcome would be simply the annihilation of the planet. Here's the data from of carbon dioxide concentration in parts per million taken from the famous site in Hawaii, Mauna Loa from 1958 all the way to 2008. If we look at the graph, we can see that there are seasonal trends, but we're really not nearly as interested in the seasonal trends as the overall trend. Remember the overall trend started at a baseline of 280 parts per million. What I had my students do is develop a model, an exponential model, that would go through the data and the, their question was what will the concentration in parts per million be in about 50 years when they plan on retiring if nothing changes. So I won't spend time right now going through the how I taught them how to do this but K is the value of the horizontal asymptote where it, where it came from and so we learn a couple of things from this we get a very good value with these data and uh, the two that are most important is that it validates when, that we have a good model when originally the parts per million was 280 back in 1800 and before and what I ask students to investigate is what's going to happen into the future so to look 50 years in the future and if they look to around 2060 they can see that it's going to be up around 650 it's only recently gone over 300 which is alarming if nothing major is done it'll go up to 650 secondly what's alarming is that the growth of carbon dioxide in parts per million is uh, seen by this variable here is 2.23 percent and just like it didn't seem very big to have a growth rate of 2.9 percent of population of Chad but turned out it was quite big at 2.2 percent the time that it takes to double is between 30 and 35 years which is incredibly significant Switching gears, here's something that was recently in the news. I live near Boston, Massachusetts. I live in western Massachusetts. And Boston is trying to have a ban on trans fats so that no restaurants in Boston could use any trans fats. And it causes the arteries to be clogged that most of us have heard more and more about this. There was an article in the New England Journal of Medicine that compared McDonald's on the top 
and KFC on the bottom for different countries in the world. And what they did is they showed, I'm just concentrating on the yellow portions of the bar, how much trans fat there was for a large order of fries. And what's interesting is the researchers took data from the same cities around the world for McDonald's and KFC. The assignment that I gave my students was, and here's an example, was to write an article that says that KFC has healthier fries than McDonald's. They used quite sophisticated knowledge and displays of, in statistics in order to do this. But what's more significant is they also had to write an article that shows that McDonald's is healthier than KFC. The concept is that the news media spins data at us constantly all the time, giving us the impression that the information they're giving us comes from a unbiased and dispassionate view. Yet there is no such thing as an unbiased and dispassionate view. And a, one great exercise for students is to teach them how to take one topic and argue both sides. It doesn't matter whether it's logic or philosophy or statistics, but get them to argue both sides of the point, getting them to realize that the information around them is being spun by these spin doctors all the time.